The flag is in the Stratos hands. We're raising that Kansas. Let's do this. See Stuart Gratton's gonna get a way better start than uh, Cole Baker there on the outside. Great start there for Stuart Gratton. Let's see if he, his good luck can continue because we just remembered he raced yesterday in the Coca-Cola 600 the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Sorry if I spoiled that to anyone who hasn't watched it yet on Napa Fan. And uh, Grant actually won this race. So they come off turn four. Brian Fox might try to look for the bomb there. Four wide here. And they're crashing. Jared Lewis, Tony Green, Stuffy Naylor. And Naylor on her upside down now. The big one already strikes here in Kansas. Logan, Prince, Ravnock. Dodd's got damage. A lot of cars are destroyed here. Come on. We got some drivers you see racing. Michael Greg? He got out barely. We got some drivers racing back to the line. Gretton just barely. Look at all these drivers. All torn up. As they head into pit road. Twenty-three, by the way, is retired from. Oh, more trouble! John Earn and Cody Smart. That'll be interesting to watch. We can find the ten. There's the seventeen. There's the ten. Let's find out what happened. Well, you know it's not good when you complete your first lap upside down. <laughs> Tony Green hits the wall. A bunch of other drivers actually hit the wall. Robinock and Garner actually hit the wall. And then it's just on from there. Michael Gregory out in Look at the quarter. five barely make it through here. Yeah. Five. We'll talk to them in a little bit. Boy, that was close. And then Naylor gets involved. And then Aiden Shepard just flips the 10 on her route. Cody Smart kind of hits the 10. And oh, Cody Prince took a lick. Jonathan Logan gets back into him, sends him back into the wall. The 23 on fire. How did he get on fire? Was it from the crash? What did he hit? Wow, that was a pretty hard crash for Ramanar and Prince. And then what happened with John R and Cody Smart? These guys were in turn one. I think they were just minding their own business. Ah, this is in turn four. I thought this was in turn one. Arca breaks. Cody Smart was just trying to come into the pits. And bam. And John are not happy at that 17. So no one's going to get a strike, by the way, except for that 17 of Cody Smart. They're actually going to give him two strikes for that. He should have been slowed down. He decided to go full speed. Oh, yeah, you know what? We actually have to um, get this back on a little bit. Here's the two of Cody Prince. This should be a good one. He almost made it through there, except if that 27 hadn't got on him. Yeah, definitely. By the way, there is no editing on this because it's Thursday and I got college, so I got no time to uh, do any editing. Watch the five of Michael Gregory just barely missed that. Wow! How close can you get? Not closer than that. Let's watch Tango on a roof. That's Naylor from the GoPro camera. Our helmet camera. Back to back GoPro. GoPro beautiful.
Nayla is okay, by the way. She did get out of her race car. Everyone's okay, we should mention. Watch the 15 of Aiden Shepard. What a shame though for Jerry Lewis. I mean, he just wanted, after he won the Daytona 500, he's just been having problems. Here's John Logan. Watch uh, Kenny Stroud. Ah, that's how Cody Prince got in the wall. Stroudy just made contact and it was on from there. But anyway, caution flag is back, is out again. Stroud grabs the race leader. We will be right back. Again, hang on. Folks, it's bad luck granted once again. Look at this. Stuart Grant just pulled onto the went onto the apron. He has got a Rick Allen problem. Let's just look real quick and see if these drivers did come in for pit stops. They did not. What a shame for Stuart Grant. But anyway, let's talk without in race reporter. Drives the number five Mountain Dew Pitch Black Chevrolet. Don't know if Pitch Black will yet or not. But that's Michael Gregory. Michael, it's Beastboy02 from the Animal Professor Rail booth. You got a copy. 10 4, I got you. What'd you get? what did you see in that first track? And how in the world did you guys miss it? Saw a lot of cars spinning. And I was able to squeeze through probably by at least less of an inch, I felt like. Oh, that was crazy. I think we it was kind of like what we did at Texas earlier this season, I believe. And we we uh, avoided the big one pretty close just like that. And I mean, we were gaining positions. We're, that's the same thing here. We're up to 12th. Do you guys think you're going to win? Yeah, it's a good shot. I mean, we're up in the front. We got a fast race car. Just got to stay away from these wrecks. We'll get there. All right, thanks, Michael. Good luck. Thank you. As we go back to green, Stuart Grant comes into the pits. pits. That's going to give Brian Fox the race lead as we go back to green at Kansas. Shepard, Green, Lewis, uh, Arndt, Smart, Naylor, Romnuck, and Prince are all out of the race. So both Penske cars are all done for the day. Brian Fox got a good start here. Here comes Sebastian Torres and Cole Baker. The Joe Gibbs du duel into second and third. But they come out to it for three wide here. Are drivers in the wall once again. We got another crash. Jake Ferguson around the 43. And it looks like it's just Ferguson. And folks, that is going to, you want to know who that's going to help? Stuart Grant on the 44 as we race back to the line. It will help Graham, by the way. He will stay on the lead lap. So, I don't know. Caleb, do you think that might have been a intentional wreck? Caleb? Michael, did I lose Caleb, if you're there? Uh, yeah, I think we lost Caleb. I'm only seeing your screen. All right. All right, let's take a look and see what... If you can add him, that'd be great, by the way. Let's see what happened. Ferguson just hit the wall. I think he did that on purpose. Then Kyle Martins helped him out. Yep, we got Spingate all over again, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're gonna they're gonna review that post. We're being told by race control that they will review it post race. But no onboards here. And we did have pit stops, I believe. Some other drivers decided to come in. Basaglia, Voyles, Baker coming in. Top two decided to stay out. A few other drivers decided to come in. We'll watch pit stops real quick, then we'll go to another commercial break. Baker and Caldwell are next to each other. And this is a nice pretty this is a pretty nice angle we have here for pit stops. Caldwell comes out ahead of Baker. Very interesting. But we're gonna go to a commercial break. Brian Fox is the race leader once again. We will be right back. Oh wait, we will not be right back yet. First, the 44 is a problem. Now the 95 has a problem. Something has happened with Anthony Rodriguez. Another shame for the 95. Reigning in ninth at the time. Now we'll go to break. We'll be right back. Brian Fox, Sebastian Torres goes on the, gets on the gun. He looks to the bottom for the race lead. And Sebastian Torres takes it. Brian Fox goes back to second. Marty Johnson improves to third. Here comes the 11 now of Ron Orm. Johnson though blocks the 11, now looks for second on the 41. Takes it. Look how high these drivers are. Be careful off turn four. Side by side for the race lead. Marty Johnson goes to the point. Uh oh, I heard drivers at the wall. Do we have a crash? And oh, Johnny got away loose. He saves it. Oh, it's just a stack up though coming off turn, two, turn number two. Boy, it's getting dangerous. Colin Dunst is already falling back. And now the Joe Gibbs trio of Torres and Orm battle for second. Dunn comes out of the pets. Twyman just... Oh no! Grant turns the 83! Logan and Caldwell all in it. Caution out. We got to race back to the line here. Johnson's going to be the race leader. The 1911 side by side for second. The 19 takes it. Logan, Bad Luck Gratton once again. Johnny Garner, all torn up. Pache, oh! What the heck? What is this? I don't know what just happened. Drivers on their roofs. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to, st they're stopping this race. They are stopping this race. They are stopping this race big time. No one is coming into the pits. We just had a potato crash, ladies and gentlemen. Davey Johnson, Kenny Stremme, Chelsea Bowles, Mason Pacheco, Kyle Martins, Elijah Gordon, Kyle Basaglia, Hayden Caldwell, Brian Fox, Cole Baker, Gabriel Wanderlei, Denton, Brock, Twyman, Garner, Acevedo, Hoth. It's probably like th a quarter of the field left in this one. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna watch the 83 first. Oops, I forgot to turn on my notifications. Alright, watch this. Come into turn one. Watch that 26 of Twyman. Hits the wall. Goes off of it like a cannon out of nowhere. And then Grant, I believe, goes to the bottom of the track. And they are going to give a strike to Stuart Grant in because of this. Johnny Garner, Jonathan Logan, Hayden Caldwell. Just nowhere to go. What a shame for that 21. Let's watch him. Wow. 
Now we gotta watch a potato crash. All right, it all st I believe it started with that 41 of Brian Fox. We're gonna watch real closely. Did Brian Fox hit the wall coming off turn four? Yes, he did. Way loose. Michael Gregory gets some damage in that one. Fox trying his best to save it. Oh! Hits the beginning of the safer barrier. Chelsea Bowles caught up in it. Here comes the 38 of Kenny Stravi. We're going to watch the... And that 41 almost sends himself on his roof. And it's just a chain reaction here. Look at all these drivers getting it. Tony Green. And it's the, look at that. It's the big one. And here comes all these other drivers getting involved in it. It's just a stack up. Look at the 18 of Cole Baker in the air. Twiming into the air. Look at, look at that. 18 on no wheels, but still not upside down. Now he goes on his roof. Three drivers upside down in one occasion. It's pretty crazy. On boards will be interesting. Here's a 20 of Mason Pacheco. He didn't even slow down at all. Like, look. 168, 168. Look at this. He's not even slowing down until now. He's got nowhere to go. And look at that hit. Oh, man. The head on impact with that 41. Here's the 26. Twyman got on two wheels. Here's a 38 Kyle Basaglia. And he's stuck. Here's the 38 Kenny Strammy. Wow. Finally, here's Andrew Rivers. Alright, costume flags out. We'll be right back. 
Yeah, it's a scary crash though. Martin Lambert rounds out the top ten. Back to the restart. But Leo Caesar now looking for second on Ron Orr. Look at all those cars left in the race. That is not a whole lot, ladies and gents. Here goes the four. Oh yeah, by the way, Caesar has taken the lead, I just realized. I thought Den was the race leader. But he's trying to get on the lead lap still. And now the battle for second, Dana Cole, Matthew, and Sebastian Torres. And Anthony Rodriguez, the non-charter, enters the pack. And Dutton and Charles, I believe, scraped the wall. So an odd Charter currently runs in second spot. Now we're gonna go three wide for third. Michael Gregory takes the third. Oh no! Dutton goes around. And into the three of Chris Dodd and the 48. Oh boy! Javier Hernandez in the 7, Daniel Voyles in the 46, all torn up. Caution, again. Caesar the race leader. Wanderlei coming out of the pits. Let's watch what happened with that 34 of Denton. Hmm. Gonna be no one's fault here because Denton hit the wall, but then Sebastian Torres turned him. And then Chris Donder says nowhere to go in that three. And then so does Prince Orm. Has Prince Orm also has nowhere to go. Jake Ferguson just barely misses it. Then here comes Daniel Voiles and a camp. Awesome! Wow! Cam Haas just missed it. Oh man, that was close. No onboards here. Let's see if we get any takers for pit stops. And we did have a taker. The leader came in. That was Caesar. Everyone came in, by the way. So let's watch the pit stops happen. Let's see who we're gonna watch first. The floor we'll, we will watch. As Caesar's in, I believe this is gonna be a four tire change. Yes, it will. Let's see what the 95 is doing. I believe four tires as well. Here comes the 14 of Paul Lambert! Lambert is going to win the race off pit road. Lambert, Haas, Caesar, Gregory, Rodriguez, Matthew, Ferguson, Torres, Johnson, and Orm, the top 10. If I am correct, Lambert and Haas, they only took either two tires or gas. So that is going to be interesting. But Paul Lambert, the race leader, we will be right back in Kansas. Close let now by Lambert. 22, 22 hundredths of a second. Uh-oh, Gregory up high, Lambert down low. He had, he's got, he's got to run. Lambert's got to run. This is going to be a great finish still, despite the fact that Lambert and Haas made contact with each other. Who's got the faster car, though? That's all that matters. Two laps to go. And in turn one. Gregory still got the run. Lambert's down low just a little bit. Lambert's got the run. This, oh man, this is going to be one of the best finishes yet. This might be a classic Kansas finish. Here they come. The white flag. One more time around. Who will win it? And who will get into the all-star race? 
Lambert! He looks! Paul Lambert! Lambert versus Gregory! Paul Lambert to the race lead! Is Paul Lambert gonna get the win? Or can Michael Gregory make a run? Last chance off of turn four! Not gonna happen! Paul Lambert wins at Kansas! What a shame for the five of Michael Gregory. Oh, man. So close. Just yet so little for that five. Ah, oh, man. Tough break. So Paul Lambert wins it. Gregory second. Rodriguez. Torres, Voyles, Johnson, Caesar, Orm, Matthew, and Ferguson round out the top ten. Wow. That was a great finish. So now, uh, coming up next, we are going to have the points and the chase grid. So we will be right back. Stay with us. All right, we are back here. Um, so today, we had four cautions for 16 laps. Uh, eight lead, different leaders had 12 lead changes. Hendrick Motorsports, the best team with 113. Rodri Anthony Rodriguez, the best rookie. For the awards, Stuart Graham with the pole. Michael Gregory led the most laps at 23. Prince Orm gained 25 spots. Joseph Ramanuk dropped 33 spots. And Gabriel Wanderlei, the last driver to finish the race. So let's generate these files. Now, let's see what we got for the chase grid. Paul Lambert, with that win, gives him the number one seed in the chase. He gained 9 Spots that time. I'm going to go full screen here. Andrew Ivers second. Ron Orn four, third. Cody Prince fourth. Mason Pacheco fifth. Prince Orn seventh. Sierra Albro. Oh, wait, wait. This can't be right. One, two, three, four. It's Cody Prince. Fifth, Mason Pacheco. Sixth, Prince Orn. Seventh, Sierra Albro. Eighth is Jared Lewis. Who is this guy? So like I said, 8th was Jerry Lewis. The ninth is Kyle Basaglia. 10th, Dana Cole Matthew. 11th, Johnny Gardner. 12th, Rocco Twyman. 13th, Kenny Stremme. 14th, Julio Caesar. 15th, Mason Pacheco. And 16th is... Wait, I did that wrong. Ninth, tenth, Danico Matthew. Eleventh is Johnny Gunner. Twelfth, Rocco Twyman. Thirteenth, Kenny Strummy. Fourteenth, Julio Caesar. Fifteenth, Jonathan Logan. And sixteenth now is Colin Denton. On the bubble, Chelsea Bowles, Aiden Shepard, Michael Gregory. And if he got that win, he would have been in the chase today, we should mention. And Kyle Martins in twentieth. With the owner's points right now, Joe Gibbs Racing still on top at 700. Andrew Ivers and Kyle Basaglia tied for Rookie of the Year right now. Or Rookie of the Season. Any updates here? Andrew Ivers does have the most top five still. Most top ten still the same thing. Pole is still the same thing. Alright, this race had... Uh, the most DNFs. 30 cars DNFed in one race. So yeah, that is going to do it. The next race is going to be the All-Star race, which is coming up in a few minutes. The All-Star race will have um, the two races, the Friendly Showdown and the Friendly's All-Star race. Now, we do not have a fan vote. So instead of the fan vote, the highest driver in points that does not have a win will be in the All-Star race. And if Kyle Basaglia does not get a win in the Sprint Showdown... He, not the spin show, the friendly showdown, he will be 
in the All Star race. But if he does get a win, it will be it would be Deanna Cole Matthews next. But it'd be the highest driver that did not get a win or did not transfer into the All Star race. So that's gonna do it for Caleb Hoffman. This is Beast Boy 2 saying so long, and we'll see you guys at the next race. Y'all those right bad guys. I'm out of here. We're racing at Charlotte. Let's do this for five laps in segment number one. Good start there by William Brock, but they're going to go three wide here. And boy, it's always close when you come to Charlotte. William Brock gets the advantage right now. Here goes Gabriel Wanderlei in the 47 going for second. Now Wanderlei looks for the race lead right now. Kenny, as you've had previous experience here at Charlotte because he raced the 23 last season, the t the, the t tip here is the key here is to go down to stay on the low line, right? Yeah. It's I don't know. the low line. Oh, sorry to interrupt it for the but but we almost went four wide at Charlotte as Anthony Ooh. Rodriguez, the non charter goes to the race lead. The BK teammates. Joseph Robnick and Rocco Trump are going to help. And how are these drivers not crashing as they hit the wall back and forth? None of these drivers have crashed yet, but look how close they are! It's almost going three wide for the racing. Oh, there we go! Hayden Cornwall way loose. Saves it! That is what you call all-star racing at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Despite the fact this is not an all-star race. <laughs> Brian Fox with help from a good cousin of his, Sebastian Torres. The top two right now. <laughs> Here goes Torres underneath Brian Fox. By the way, we should mention, if any of these drivers retire in, in the showdown, they can now restart the cars. And there they go! Rocco Twyman! Anthony Rodriguez coming to the white flag at Twyman Barrel Rolls. But watch out of the pack. That just got crazy. But they battle for the win. Not for the win. For the chance to get into the Ulster race. Sebastian Torres comes off the final turn. And Sebastian Torres advances to the Ulster race as he wins. Segment number one. But how is Twyman's car still going? That car did a barrel roll in the tri -oval. Logan, green all torn up. A lot of drivers involved. Wanderlei is destroyed. Chris Dodd is done. Go ahead. What, what started happened to that 47? Did it just barrel roll? No, that was the 26 who barrel rolled as all these other drivers come in. Man, that's this intense finish, I, I guess. Yeah, let's take a look and see what happened. Whoa. I guess 41 uh, got in the wall, and then the 26 and the 95 just got together. Then it lifts up. Hmm. Yeah, then the... Oh, you're right! The four wheels went off the ground there for a split second as they came to the white flag, and then there's Wanderlei. And Chris Dodd, look at that 26 just barrel roll through that dog leg. Man, that was scary to watch. Yeah, in the free car, this guy hit very hard. And here's the rest of the pack. There's Logan, Tony Green, Hayden Caldwell. Look at all these drivers get involved. A lot of these drivers actually had nowhere to go in this crash. So pretty much those cars are pretty much backup cars like if like during um for Coca-Cola 600 I guess. 
No, we don't. Like they don't. They won't have to just start in the real the field if you know what I mean. Oh. Oh. But Twyman, okay. Wanderlei, Dodd, Logan, Green, and Caldwell have significant damage. That they will not be able to advance into the All Star race. What a shame for those drivers. So let me get a picture of the rest of the field. So anyway, we will be right back for segment number two of the Sprint Showdown. Congrats to Sebastian Torres. He moves on into the All-Star. Fans, who will make the All-Star race once again? We will find out in five laps. Green flag back in the air here in Charlotte. Great start there for the 24 of John Arndt. Elijah Gordon looking for second spot now on Ramanark. One driver trying to shoot through the middle going three wide. That is Chelsea Bowles in the 93. Here comes the 31 of Elijah Gordon. Can he try and make a run? Oh, look out! What trade? What crash? And Brian Fox and Joseph Ramanark. And more drivers are going to be done for the day. More trouble coming out of the dog lag. The big one strikes. And we might have more. The second one. Go ahead. The second big one. And we might have more drivers taken out of this one as a result. Elijah Gordon and John Arndt side by side for the lead. Arndt leads them at the line. It is a three car breakaway in fourth right now is Julio Caesar. Aren't doing a good job getting that draft from Anthony Rodriguez. John Arndt keeps the race lead. Here comes the Anthony Rodriguez. The non charter going for the going looking for the point. There's still a lot of smoke on the track. And Anthony Rodriguez to the race lead. Now where's Elijah Gordon gonna go? Gordon gonna try and look to the bottom. But can Rodriguez, Rodriguez put a block? No! Gordon looking for the race leads. They come off the final turn. Final lap. Who will make it into the All-Star race? Rodriguez clears the 31. 35 comes back on the track. Gordon looking to the bottom, but that's not going to be good enough. Here comes the 95. Anthony Rodriguez wins segment two and advances on to the All-Star Race. Only one driver retired as a result, and that was the 75 of Aiden Milliken. Milliken is going to be done for the day. Grant and Basaglia, Johnson and Martins. You know what? No, that's the no. They will not advance actually because they are lapped cars. If you're on the lap, you can still continue. So let's find out what happened to that brought out what happened on that first lap. Brian Fox was involved. I think the the twenty three that's my gotten into gotten hit. Twenty three, I believe, just hit the wall. Yeah, and it's just on Caesar trying to miss the crash goes into the grass. Forty one hits the wall. Wow, hard. what a save though for that forty one. And look at all these other drives getting involved. The 23. Oh, look at that 75 get loose there for a little bit. Aiden Milliken, that's in the back. And the 55 yeah. hit. Marty Johnson, the 88 involved. Well, let's watch his onboard real quick, actually.
Almost missed it, but then got involved. But Brian Fox, what a save that 41 car made. Crazy. Anyway, that is... So anyway, Anthony Rodriguez will not be in segment number three. He advances to the all-star race. Aiden Milliken, though. Stuart Grand, Kyle Basaglia, Davey Johnson, Kyle Martins. They will not. So now it just goes down to 21 cars to decide who will make, who will get the final spot in the all-star race. So we'll be right back for that. Stay with us. Oh, yeah, we should mention real quick, um... Since Basaglia cannot continue, he will not be in the All-Star race. We should mention that, actually. So, yeah, we'll be... Here we go. I mean... Go ahead. Everyone wants to get in, but there's only a few of them. Mm-hmm. Two spots still up for grabs. One... Let's see who will win the third segment, and one to get in... No, I have never seen a great finish. <laughs> Actually, I have. And... Yeah. Let's do this. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the All-Star Race. Uh, we got Caleb back here once again. Caleb, what are you expecting? You know, I'm expecting all these veterans to, you know, go for it. I mean, it's a prestigious event. No points involved. All about that $1 million the winner will receive. So all bets are off. See what happens. Um, um, disclaimer: you not re you will not really win a million bucks. Sebastian Torres starts on pole. Stephanie yeah. Naylor starts in second. Uh, this is the we have three segments in the race. The first two segments are gonna be thirteen laps with caution laps that will count, but the, then the final segment's four laps, no cautions. 
Anyway, let's go trackside for the command to start the engines. You can't really hear it because we had started a Skype call after the game got running. But here we go. And you see right here the Stephanie Naylor, I believe, would is on the pole right now. Oh, or is it? It's Torres. Oops. Just to let everybody know, uh, when it comes to all star racing on NORFSRL, you cannot be a lap down or retired by the end of the segment. If you do, you will be taken out of the race. Let's look at the onboards we've got. Got the 30 at Kenny Strong, who's our in race reporter. We'll talk with him in a little bit. Paul Lambert in the 14. Javier Hernandez in the 7. Michael Gregory in the 5. Cody Prince in the 2. Ron Orm in the 11. Cole Baker in the 18. And Stephanie Naylor in the 10. Stephanie Naylor, uh, she took a wild ride two weeks ago, I mean, not two weeks ago, at the Kansas in the Pokemon Go 400. Yeah. Hopefully, once rebound. In this all-star race. Hopefully she can. But anyway, now this crowd is sold out. Ready for the all-star race. Who will take home a fake million dollar check? We are about to find out. The pace car makes a left hand turn into pit road. Watch out for the green light. The flag is in the starter's hands. We're racing at Charlotte. Let's do this. Nineteen gets a really good jump with his teammate right behind him. We should mention, by the way, all four Joe Gibbs cars are in this race. Here we go, coming off of turn two. The nineteen slides up in front of the ten of Stephanie Naylor. Cole Baker trying Cole to Baker walk gonna... still to the bottom on the ten. Can Baker take the second spot? Yes, he can. Still two by two as they come to the line. Baker in second. Torres leads the first lap in the in the All Star race. And now Baker now looks for the race lead with help from the two of Cody Prince. Naylor might might have hit the wall. Not too sure about that. But the Toyotas are side by side. Baker to the lead. Here comes Cody Prince in the two. You don't want to go three wide coming off turn four, because if you do, the person up high will hit the wall and possibly start a big crash. Michael Gregory in the five, so close to winning at Kansas earlier today. Going for the race lead. Now with three wide, Jared Lewis to the bottom. Oh boy, watch out! Prince in the wall! Keeps that car going. Lewis and Gregory side by side. Pack has broken up. Jerry Lewis to the race lead. Paul Lambert and Michael Gregory side by side. Colin Denton with the last lap clutch in segment number three. The end of the All Star race currently in the fourth spot. Ah, we got a crash. Kenny Strebby. Cody Prince hard into the wall. Rod Orn, Cole Baker, Prince Orn. Oh my goodness! Caleb, pick up the phone. You called it. Hang on, I'm calling Cody right now. I'm calling Cody right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Charlotte Glitch has entered the Ottawa Fessarel. Cody Prince, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Prince. I'm recording this right now and saying this to him. I want to see his reaction. Alright, he got his car back going. Let's see what his reaction is in a little bit. Let's find out what happened though. That was a, that was nasty. Cody Prince is gonna be done for the day. Well, we all know how that happened. 
We were all just speechless. So off turn four, Cody Prince hits the wall, gets into the 18 to Cole Baker. Baker turns the 38 around, and it's on from there. Sebastian Torres, nowhere to go. Ron Ong, nowhere to go. How does Prince Ong get caught up in this? The Pacheco is involved, the 48 involved. Uh oh, oh crap, let's see that. This is going to be funny. Lol. And look at that too, just go for the wildest ride in NOFS throughout history. Green beans or frozen squash? Frozen squash, please. Alrighty. Here we go for on boys. We're gonna watch it too last. Here's the 38 of Stremmy. We're gonna two. Watch the two. Watch the two just disappear. Boo doo. Later. Let's hmm. watch it a lot of Ron Orm. Finally, that two of Cody Prince. And watch the car just sink into the ground. Oh. You thought that the uh, 11 of Ron Orang had the wildest ride in Animal Fester all history? Think again. Look at this, look at this, look at this. But who? Well, let's hear from Cockpit. Here's a better angle. Watch this. He is, uh, by the way, we should mention that he is okay, but he is being taken to a local hospital for further evaluation. He just been real like more than 100 times. This is an NOFSRL record. And he's bounced and back. Bounced and back. So that was crazy right there. What do you, you say that, Caleb? Is it on that data again? Let's talk about our interviews reporter, the 38 of Kenny Strummy. Uh, Kenny, it's Beast Blood 02 from the NRF as a booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got So, yeah. how much damage do you guys have, and uh, is the car okay to continue? Yeah, I believe it it be good to go because, well, even though I got hit from the back end, eh, it should be. Going good. Alright, thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go for the restart. For lap number 9 to 13. Cody Prince will not win a million bucks tonight. Mm -hmm. All single files, they come off turn two. Michael Gregory makes the first move. Caleb, are you back yet or no? Yes, dead gum internet. Oh. Okay. Anyway, Michael Gregory going to the race lead. Here comes his arch, uh, arch nemesis, Paul Lambert, with four laps to go. 
Do you want to return? Don't okay, count out the 78 and the 6 right down Here there. Here comes Andrew Rivers. I think the 95 is in the best position, honestly, to win this race. Let's find out what happens. Oh. Don't forget if a caution oh, comes out. Segment one's going to conclude. Lambert's at the wall. And there it goes. That's it. Oh, Lambert on two wheels there. Oh, 14 hard in the wall. Jared Lewis in Gregory. it. Lambert all torn up. The seven Hernandez torn up. Naylor torn up. Stephanie Leitner. And that is going to do it for segment number one. The All-Star Race. It looks like the 78 going to win segment one. Andrew Ivers going to win segment one. Let's find out what happened. Coming off turn four, Lambert just hit the wall, got into Michael Gregory. Into the 95, that five trying to save it as best as he can. And makes contact with the 14. Watch the 14. Rear end that. Look at how high that car got after rear ending a safer barrier. How did someone that would be involved in a crash, by the way? Prince Orm turned him. Ooh, that was a lack. Five won't be able to continue on. Seven can't continue on. Let's watch some let's watch the real chase of the seven real quick. Well, let's watch the onboard, we should say. Vicious hat. Was there a safer barrier there? Yes. Oh, man. Thank goodness he had a safer barrier. That would have been vicious if he did not have a safer barrier. Let's watch the five of Michael Gregory real quick. Let's want to look at the, let's want to look at the uh, rear chase. Now we'll watch on board on the time from the GoPro camera. How we can brought you by GoPro. Be a hero. Got 11 though. Not the 11. The 14 though took a very wild ride. Here's the 14 now. Can't really see it that well, but watch for the rear, rear camera. This is how high he gets! Violent. Anyway, five drivers are now going to be out of the All Star race. It's going to be Jared Lewis, Stephanie Naylor, Javier Hernandez, Michael Gregory, and Cody Prince. As if they can repair that. 14 as we go to break between segment one and two. I think he'll be have a good chance at winning So 11 drivers will battle it out in segment two coming up next We'll go to a commercial break. We will be right back after this stay with us We come back now for the second segment here, once again, 13 laps. Caution laps will count. Top of the race reporter right now. Uh, Kenny Strummy, B Sports 02, you got a copy? Yeah, I got it, yeah. Alright, so you guys just got your. You guys actually got your backup cars out for the second segment. Uh, what are you guys expecting now as you guys re restart in 10th? Um. Pretty much. On the draft with or pass around. All right. Um. You guys think you might have a chance to win this race because I mean you guys do have a teammate with you, Colin Denton. Yeah, we got a chance. All right. Uh. Thank you, man, and good luck in the second segment. Thank you. Hey, 
anyway. We don't know what Caleb is, but here we go for the second restart. Not the second restart, I mean the second segment. And here we go, back to racing. Great start there by Andrew Rivers in the 78. Anthony Rodriguez to second, Paul Lambert to third. See what happens, they go into turn three. Colin Denton getting a run on that 14. Denton takes third away from Lambert. Now he looks for second on the 95. Here comes Colin Denton in that 34. Watch this view from pit lane two. That's a nice, that's a nice angle, man. Battle for third, Prince Orang, Anthony Rodriguez. Orang takes the third spot. Now let's see if Colin Denton can make a run on that 78 for the race lead. And now here comes the 11 around Orang. We might be going forward here in Charlotte. Oh, Rodriguez in the wall. Orang in the wall. Two drivers in the wall at that time. Kenny Strummy trying to look to the bottom. Got on the apron there for a brief moment. And now the battle for the lead is on. Colin Dent and Andrew Rivers side by side. Colin Dent into the race lead. Here comes the 11 and the 18. Three Toyotas battling for the second spot. Pressure in a Ford. And now that's 78, trying the race lead once again. 48 hits the wall, battle for third. Strummy on the apron for a brief moment there as they come off to number two. They're going to go three wide for the race lead. Here comes the 18 of Cole Baker. And oh boy, this is going to be, this is not going to be good. That's it in the wall. Oh, they saved it. Thank goodness. And Torres got made contact with that 34, and it's a four-car breakaway from the pack. Here comes that 38 of Kenny Strummy. Oh, in-race reporter. Let's see what Strummy can do as they come off the second turn. Baker and Strummy side by side. Someone scraped the wall. I believe that was Denton once again. Not too sure about that. Here comes the 78 of Andrew Rivers. He's going to take the third spot away. Lambert now looks for the race lead on the 38. Paul Lambert to the point. Now here comes Andrew Rivers once again. The pack is starting to come back. Here comes Dan Cole Matthew in the six. By the way, we should imagine the 98 has fallen back all by himself. He does not want to risk gain any damage. To come off turn four, Ivers at the wall just a little bit, and Dan Cole Matthew. Who did not win any segment in the showdown and has not won yet this season, but made it by, by points and not being a lap down. Single fire order in turn three is your top six. Three wide for seventh. And now Baker makes a run on the bottom for the race lead. Lambert on the wall. Oh, Kenny Strebby around. Goes airborne. That might do it unless he keeps that car going. He does. Rodriguez passes him. But strebby has got more damage. Now just don't get that car on lap down and you'll be fine. Four to go. Baker the race leader. Paul Lambert will fall out of the pack again. Three laps to go in segment number two. Oregon Baker side by side for the race lead. 
Here comes Andrew Rivers in the 78. Baker scrapes the wall. And Oregon Ivers side by side entering the third turn. Here comes Andrew Ivers. Help from Mason Pacheco. Baker with the wall. Yeah, that might do it. Oh boy, Danico Matthew on his side. That is going to do it. Matthew is going to be done for the day. As the second segment complete, Andrew Rivers wins that one again. And the top four we should mention, all Toyotas. So watch what happened. We thought that six was going to go on his roof, but did not. Coming off turn four, Baker got up high. They went three wide. Baker in the wall, 19 gets in it, and the 18, the 6, they try to save it. Wham! On board with that 18. Watch every trace of Danico Matthew. You got the roof all caved in. So Matthew and Baker, they are not gonna have a shot at a million bucks. So it is going to be a nine car shootout to decide who who will win the who will win the fake million dollar check? Just had to make sure I got those results saved. Anyway, when we come back, it'll be a four lap shootout for a million bucks. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And we are back here at Charlotte. And it's going to be a four lap shootout for the final segment to determine who will win the All Star Race and who will win a fake million bucks. Now, we would talk with that with the 38 of Kenny Strummy right now, but we're not going to because he has, he he needs to be, He can we cannot talk with him right now, we cannot distract him. He's got to focus on these final four laps. Toyota though has a lot of confidence. As the only Toyotas are in left, they are all running in the top four. Andrew Ivers, Ron Orm, Mason Pacheco, and Sebastian Torres. Then 5th, Colin Denton, 6th, Prince Orr, 7th, Paul Lambert, 8th, Anthony Rodriguez, 9th, Kenny Stremme. Here we go. Fans all on their feet. There is no one is sitting in any seat right now. They're cheering big time. Pace Kerr out of pit road. Who will win in four laps? Let's find out. Good start by the 78. By the way, we should mention there are no cautions in the final segment. Here comes the 19 of Sebastian Torres making it. Going for third, and that was side by side for the race lead. Mason Pacheco going, looking for the, going to try to get to the point. And now they're side by side, they come off turn four. Three laps to go in Charlotte. Who is going to win it? The Toyotas are three wide. Here comes Sebastian Torres in the 19. Torres goes to the point. Here comes Colin Denton in the 34. Denton, three wide. Off the final turn, Pacheco with the wall. And Paul Lambert around. Hard into the wall. Ivers and Pacheco all torn up. They just lost a million bucks. And now is a two car battle for the race win. Denton versus Torres. Who is going to take home the million bucks? 
We know it will go to a rookie. Here goes Torres. Side by side. White flag one more time around at Charlotte. Torres goes to the race lead. Denton stays back in second. Can't, will Denton make a move on Torres? Last chance in the turns three and four. He has not won a race yet this season, but he's going to take home a million bucks. Sebastian Torres wins the All-Star Race. Colin Denton second, Kenny Strebby third, Rod Ong and Prince Ong round out the top five. Anthony Rodriguez comes home sixth. As those are the, those three drivers, they're all going to retire. Let's find out what brought out that final caution. Not the final caution, the final rack. Looks like Pacheco trying to make it three wide. Hits the wall. Takes Ivers and Lambert with him. Lambert takes another hard hit into the safer barrier. Bam. Watch the number that 14. Anyway, the million bucks goes to Sebastian Torres. So let's say this is NFSS S2 All Star Race. Anyway, Torres, Denton, Strummy, Orngs, Rodriguez, Pacheco, Lambert, and Ivers. That is how the top nine finish in the All Star Race. Anyway, that does it in Charlotte. Uh, next race will be tomorrow, the Coca-Cola 600. And that is going to be our longest race of the season. 100 laps to determine who will win. So anyway, that's going to do it for Caleb Hoffman. This is Beastboard 2 saying so long. And I'll see you guys at the next race. Yolo swag. Bye, guys. We're out of here.